The 10,000-Year Explosion, How Civilization Accelerated Human Evolution, by Gregory Cochran is a captivating exploration of the role of culture in shaping human evolution. Cochrane's central argument revolves around the idea that the rapid changes brought about by agriculture and civilization have significantly altered the trajectory of human evolution over the past 10,000 years. In this literary analysis, we will delve into the key themes and arguments presented in the book, considering its implications for our understanding of human development. Cochrane starts by challenging the conventional wisdom that human evolution largely ceased tens of thousands of years ago. He argues that, on the contrary, human evolution has been ongoing and has even accelerated in the context of civilization. He introduces the concept of gene culture coevolution, suggesting that cultural innovations have driven genetic changes in human populations. This idea challenges the traditional view of human evolution as a slow and natural process driven solely by genetic mutations and natural selection. One of the book's central ideas is the concept of rapid evolution. Cochrane presents compelling evidence of how agriculture and settled societies, beginning around 10,000 years ago, have brought about swift genetic changes in humans. He discusses various examples, such as the development of lactase persistence in some populations, which enabled them to digest milk as adults, a trait that was virtually non-existent in our ancestors. These examples underscore how human populations have rapidly adapted to new dietary and environmental conditions. Cochrane also addresses the concept of niche construction, where humans modify their environments to better suit their needs. This idea is closely related to gene culture coevolution. He argues that our capacity to transform our environment and develop new technologies has led to further genetic adaptations, such as the evolution of cognitive abilities and resistance to diseases like malaria. The author's ability to weave together genetic and anthropological evidence to support his arguments is a testament to his thorough research and interdisciplinary approach. The book's exploration of the genetic basis for human differences is another thought-provoking aspect. Cochrane argues that variations in intelligence and other traits are partially influenced by genetic factors, which have evolved in response to cultural and environmental changes. This assertion challenges contemporary ideas about the origins of human diversity and raises important questions about the role of genetics in shaping individual and group differences. One of the strengths of Cochrane's work is his willingness to tackle controversial subjects. He examines the role of disease in human history and posits that some infectious diseases have shaped human genetics. His discussions on the possible genetic basis for differences in cognitive abilities are likely to be the most contentious, but they open a space for important debates on a sensitive topic. Cochrane's writing style is accessible and engaging, making complex scientific ideas understandable to a broad audience. He uses humor and storytelling to bring the science to life, making the book a compelling read even for those without a strong background in genetics or anthropology. While The 10,000-Year Explosion presents a fresh perspective on human evolution, it is not without its criticisms. Some scholars argue that Cochrane's ideas are overly speculative, and that the evidence presented is not always as robust as he suggests. Furthermore, his discussions on the genetics of human differences have generated controversy and concern about the potential misuse of such information. In conclusion, The 10,000-Year Explosion, How Civilization Accelerated Human Evolution, is a thought-provoking and engaging exploration of the interplay between culture and genetics in shaping human evolution. Gregory Cochrane challenges conventional ideas about the pace of human genetic change and the role of culture in driving these changes. 
His work opens up new avenues for research and debate on topics as diverse as lactase persistence, disease resistance, and human intelligence. While some of his assertions are controversial, they offer a fresh perspective on the complexities of human evolution. Cochrane's accessible writing style ensures that this book can be enjoyed by a wide readership, making it an important contribution to the field of human evolution studies.